Hi everybody, this welcome back to the channel, Charlie's Angel Tarot, and this is going to be your romance reading for September. I hope you are well and safe, and I, a lot of holidays are over now, and the kids are back to school, so I suggest grab a cuppa and listen to your video. I have made the romance videos beforehand, um, but I've had some issues with the computer, so the computer will be taken away uh, or going to the menders uh, for a couple of days. So the romance readings will be done one by one because I had already done a lot, and the generals will be uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, and then Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and then. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and I will be putting in the timestamps, so please bear with me. Sorry for the inconvenience, but you know, um, I, I can't do anything about it. Take care, and uh, please share and like with everybody, of course, and sorry I won't be able to go live this week, and also, I hope you enjoy the videos, and if you're new, then welcome, please sub and uh, subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be informed remember to hit it on all otherwise you will block it out and also look at your settings in your mobile apparate apparatus okay take care enjoy the video let's go to the video ciao ciao hi Aries this is Shah and this is your reading romance reading for September <laughs> first of all the first welcome back so here you go my darlings the first card that you have children your love life is being affected by children if you don't have children because you're too young or you haven't got married yet or you haven't got a relationship then this could be children in general you could be a teacher, so perhaps the children that you teach could be affecting your love life. It could be your neighbor's children making too much noise when you're at home and you're getting stressed out. It could be children playing in the street screaming and that is breaking the peace in your household or in your relationship or life in general. So let's have a look what, and that is in the first week, let's have a look what you have to clarify. You've got the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Air, and this is a, a new deck of mine, and it's called the Kingdom, it's called the Tarot of the Kingdoms, and I hope you like it. I do. I think it's beautiful. I love the art of it and I hope you can see it. Let me just alter this so you know what it looks like. And I love the graphics on it and uh, like you can see so much more into these cards. It's like a tree. This is like the tree of life and there is things being swept around it. It could be butterflies, it could be leaves, it could be anything. So, to me, I, what I hear with this card, things come and things go. But you might feel tied up in everybody's business. The Eight of Swords, the basic meaning means that you might be too much in your head, you might feel tied up, um, because in the uh, traditional tarot, there is a lady with a blindfold with bandages around her whole body with her arms also tied up but the bandages or ropes aren't tied so you are creating your own prison you are isolating yourself by being too much in your head something might be gnawing at you you might be mulling things over um, what can I do how do I have to do it you don't know what to do so take those bandages off take the blindfold off and walk between um, the swords. That is what I always say in the tra with the traditional deck. Now here I can say, calm down, come out of your head, then all the leaves and everything will drop away, because then you can see what is around you, not just in front of you. Come out of your head, stay calm, then everything will quiet down, and then take the blindfold off and see what is around you 
okay not just in front of you and make those choices make um, a decision perhaps children might be the issue because you haven't got children and you are partnered up or perhaps you want children and you're not partnered up so that is an issue when you meet somebody you, you get to know each other and you might say I want to get married and I want to have children you don't do that on a first date you can say uh, like I would like to get a, a relationship and think about children at a later date that sounds much more at, um, adventurous and stable as in people think in the, in the normal way of life you don't just go I'm looking for a partner and I want children no you just build it gradually so think about that perhaps that is the issue that you want children and you don't have them or you can't have them because you haven't got a partner or because you haven't got a, a, a big uh, enough space to have children so if you're hooked up if you're not hooked up then first take care of yourself and see what you would like and what you're wishing for and if you do if, if you meet up a partner and they want children and you don't then talk about it talk about it because children are a treasure to have even with the negativity and negative energy and the positive energy I tell you this much the positive energy will overweigh the negative okay it's not easy to have children and in every age there are negativity negative things and um, but also every step of their life there's also a lot of joy to be had well like I said if you're not hooked up um, you might be getting a new love in the second week and this could be the person a new person has stirred your romantic feelings this could be the new person that has come on your path crossed your path and is here to stay you didn't see that coming because of the eight of swords you were only busy with yourself and your own ideas and your own wishes so perhaps this new person might be say yeah okay I don't want children straight away but eventually when I finished my study or when I've got the job that I want or that I've got some kind of stability yes then when I would love to have a partner to start a family with now if you are hooked up you could meet a new love but is that really what you want I don't think so because you've got the six of air I think a uh, new love can also be that you are moving into a next level um, perhaps you might be moving into a new home as this card the six of air the six of swords means moving this could be on holiday or moving home you're moving away from rough waters into a quieter smoother waters or face rather you might be crossing water you might be crossing water to a new love a new love could be with your present partner intact but going to a new love something that belongs to both of you that you both love to do or to have like a new home refurbish it start building this is really great stuff so it's a new beginning your love is changing again because a big event will happen there is a new beginning the six of air is a sort of new beginning depending where you're going to in what face perhaps your face in your romantic life might be taking a step up moving in together boom there you are there is new passion definitely passion is in the third week allow your heart and soul to sing with joy moving in together or buying a house together moving into the next phase is definitely a new beginning but make sure that um, like if you um, if you're hooked up then the passion will be new again you will be doing something that you both are passionate about and that you love like I said in the second week and it's also flowing over in the third week 
your uh, lo uh, your sexual life might even be in the lift because there's something new and big has happened if it hasn't happened in the second week it goes over into the third week so let your inner child come out Aries now you've got the king of air it could be with a Gemini as the king of air is Gemini but don't exclude Libra or um, Aquarius now a little bit about this move if you are partnered up then fine I've already clarified that if you are not partnered up then yes there will be a new love coming in and I think you will be moving very fast you might be you might be moving perhaps you have to cross a bridge over water uh, to uh, see each other and I think things are going to happen really quickly but take it slow because this is the six of air and air moves swiftly and air is quite dominant here because we've got the eight of air we've got the six of air and now we've got the king of air so it could be that you might be meeting up with a gem or a Libra or an Aquarius if you are buying a house because this is the card of moving home then you might be seeking legal advice and because the air signs stand for legalities municipalities and institutions you might be seeking advice from a professional person that knows things about the law the letter of the law and about institutions this could be a real estate agent or a notary public okay so they or an advocate so you can sign for your house to buy it if you're not meeting a Gemini perhaps you're seeking advice from a, a, a professional body um, to get things clear and um, do judicial things okay there will be new communication because they stand for communicating perhaps they are your mediator if you are not um, moving into a house perhaps that could be a mediator communicating with your present partner on how to carry on um, into the next phase of your relationship if things are a little bit stuck because I do see water and um, although this is air um, you can translate it also into water okay like instead of air it could be um, water waves emotionally and you've got Pegasus flying in so Peg Pegasus is flying over water now Pegasus is a, mytholo a myth mythological um, a horse with wings and he's usually at the messenger so you could be getting messages from an air sign or there will be clarity there will be new communication to get the passion flowing again like air and water go with the flow that is what I'm hearing as well don't you know don't stay stuck in one place you've got so much air you need air to breathe so give some space to your partner if you're partnered up um, also have a little bit more trust in the friendship or relationship that it will move forward and get clarity talk to your partner especially if they are an air sign they love to twig and tweet your mind they love to communicate they're always eager to learn they're always on the move so if it's too fast for you um, Aries then say calm down calm down I'm burning up because air and fire can make the fire burn much fire needs oxygen to burn so be careful that you don't get burned up by having too much passion for instance being too physical now Aries you do deserve love you are lovable but like I said make it clear to whoever you go out with 
or with whoever you are hook, hooked up with or going to hook up with what your boundaries are communication is of essence that is what the air signs like I think it's more likely to be an air sign because you've got a lot of fast energy you've also got um, uh, your fire so you've also got fire you don't want to get burnt out if you want this relationship to last you have to respect each other and by doing that is communicating and know what the boundaries are it, to me you have met your soulmate or you are with your soulmate as you've got the two of cups so keep those emotions balanced go with the flow don't be too fast go with the flow take it step by step you can't run before you walk that is the message your soul story now look at this and I was going on about water here and I hadn't even seen this yet and that's the lake now I said you're crossing water with the six of swords here you are, you've got the path, the path with paving stones crossing the lake. You're going into sunrise, it's a new beginning. Your soul story, this is a moment of expansion. Yes, you are meeting up or you're going on to the next level, a next phase. You are being tested, naturally you may want to be reassured that you are going to flourish before you put faith into your inspirations. Conversely, the way of wisdom is asking you to take a chance by applying all that you have recently learned in all your life's studies. Towards this moment of opposition, bring your most valuable lessons, whether or not they stem from love or regret and disappointment call upon your patience there you go slow down open mindlessness and flexibility the air signs are flexible you have to learn to cope with that and flexibility to aid you in seeing a new perspective in your soul's story an empathic approach brings harmony while the sharpens of righteousness can leave a bitter sting sharper sharpness wow while the sharpness of a righteousness can leave a bitter sting well the air signs stand for justice and clarity and honesty so stay honest be transparent resist the desire to shrink back and you will receive the reward of your own magnificence being revealed to you and with it the proposition of exciting new circumstances awesome like I said a new beginning the dawn is rising going across the lake leaving the rough waters behind going into new waters going up to the next level make sure that you make clear that they are your soulmate that is how you feel okay keep the communication going I'm going to go to this card now that pulled me the dog that means friendship you might already have um, a friend or your partner but you might see them from a different perspective that they are trustworthy and they are loyal because that's what the dog in Lenormand means you've got number 18 which is a 9 an ending you're going up to the next level a new beginning could be a next level in your relationship realizing that you've got your soulmate awesome now you've got the 10 of hearts ultimate happiness the 10 of cups beautiful you might be expending the family like I said you might be moving home going to a bigger home you might seek advice on uh, how to do that or you might find out that you're pregnant you need to go to the doctor what do I have to do what can we do 
My darling Aries, your last card of all is the Four of Fire. That's the overall energy. The overall energy is celebrations. Uh, you might be getting married. You might be getting that proposal if you are not married or hooked up yet. It is the perfect time to take this step. Okay, that is if you want it. There will be celebrations if you're not getting a proposal or if you're not getting married, then you might be invited to a celebration or a wedding. Wow, or you might be moving into a new house because the Four of Wands represents the corners of the house. Now, you do have the Six of Air and that is also moving home. Okay, and remember, you do feel as if you have your soulmate or met your soulmate. So, happy times are definitely here. Take care, have a beautiful month and have a beautiful week. Have a look at your general as well. And remember, take from the reading what you can, what resonates from for you. If it doesn't resonate, have a look at the moon sign or your rising sign. Take care, God bless and be blessed. I hope to see you in the life, and if not, in the next romance reading or the weekly. Ciao, ciao. Please give us the thumbs up and share and like. Ciao, ciao. And subscribe and hit the bell on all.